Hello everybody on YouTube, JamG here, back with another episode of Zombie so Set World Gmod. Yes, yeah, no, Gmod Set World. There we go. Um, I've had problems with a microphone. It's fucking annoying. I think I fixed it. I think it's done. Now I don't have to think about it anymore. So, what happened was, I am um, don't know why, but my uh, recording program thought for some reason that it had to reset my settings again so I the last two episodes didn't have any audio in it so I'm but don't worry it's gonna be back in this episode as you can hear there we go just sleeping and we're gonna wrap up Storm back. Why won't it let me? Hmm, weird. I am gonna drop this and press E, hold. There we go. Great. Can I get out in any way? Oh yeah, you can, okay. Goodbye, thanks for the help. Hmm. Weird. Okay, <clears throat> back to what I said before. Um, I talked about a lot of stuff, about like these two guys that I'm playing with, really nice guys. Hello! You found who? Okay, back to what I said before. Um, I talked about a lot of stuff, a lot of important stuff in my opinion. I have no clue who that is. Okay. Uh, I need to get some firewood to keep the fire going, so I'm gonna go and collect a bit of that. Somebody took the car. I expected that would happen. Collected five more wood logs. No, back to what I said. Um, I talked about a lot, of, a lot of different stuff about like uh, what's gonna happen to the channel. I am gonna keep on working at this um, on this series, of course. Um, it's fun, and I want you guys to tell me if you want me to keep on going, making it like this. Uh, if you like to have longer sessions like this where I like play for a long period of time and then cut it up into different episodes like I'm doing now. I need you guys to tell me because it's important. Um, then there's also the matter of um, Borderland 2. I am gonna keep on recording and making less plays because let's be honest I also need to have some fun while I record. It's not gonna help that I'm like only playing Gmod. That's not fun to me. Of course the game is good and everything. It's not nothing to do with that at all. But I can't only play one game, guys. You've got to be—you've you, you, got to be be able to see that. I can't just only play one game. Uh, let's go this at five, at five, at five. There we go. Seventeen minutes should be good. Cooked. S open and eat. Nom, 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 nom. How's it going with building? It's going good. Good, good. I just need a few more bits of wood and then it'll be a bit more... Then we will have a mini game. Yeah. I get it. By the way guys, this is gonna be the last episode of this like round. I'm gonna stop playing after this, like, this episode. And then we're, um, next, then the next episode after this one, I'm gonna have to start over. 
I know, I know. It's not. You guys are probably getting probably like, why? Why you do this, Jamji? Why? And I'm like, yeah, gotta do it. It's not that I don't want to keep on like you know, going. I would love to be able to do that. Yeah, sure, man. I'm going to cover you. Because I also need to have fun while playing. It's important to me to have fun while playing. And these guys are fun playing with. That's why I've been making such a long session. I wouldn't had I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't because I thought they were fun. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna take these med kits. They're gonna be important later on. So this this is gonna be the last episode, and I know you guys are probably like, oh come on, can't you just be a little bit longer? I want to see what happens and everything like that. Uh, some people actually got pretty pissed at me, um, like a long time ago, because I didn't feel like keeping on playing. I don't really know why they became that pissed. They just began uh, sending me a bunch of comments. Uh, suddenly, some random guys just kept on commenting on a bunch of my videos that I should. Um, kill myself, I think one of, one of them was. I also think that I sh as far as I remember, one of them told me to, um, I can't really remember. I don't usually take, like, concern to that, I'm just saying, this is internet hate. Like, uh, online hate. And I couldn't care less. I live in a completely different part of the world for, from them, probably, so I don't see the, like, how this is gonna help them in any way, but well, who cares? Um, some I'm just gonna talk about like how how it is that it's not cool to do hate against some people because some people besides me they don't like it when that happens. They actually become some people become really depressed and I can't wake up when you you're sleeping, but if you take a nap, you can. I know. Whatever you want, but when you sleep, you sleep for more. I know. Okay, back to what I said. Um, internet hate. Don't do it. It's just ridiculous. You first things first. You sound like a fucking idiot when you do it because, <laughs> let's be honest, it's just dumb. There are no reasons for doing it. And I know that some people are probably going to be saying like, huh, is that your only thing to say about it? Then I'm going to keep on doing it. Yeah, yeah, keep on doing it. Believe me. I think there are plenty of people like me who doesn't give a fuck about, like, you know, what you do. It's just that other people don't. And some people actually get a bad feeling when people talk hate to them. And I understand because I have had a horrible kit, like... I've had it horrible when I was a kid, uh, when I was a little kid. I got bullied every day. I got annoyed every day. People thought it was fun until that I actually almost committed suicide. I tried to kill myself. Then suddenly, like everybody saw what actually was going on, and they stopped. They realized what they were doing was really wrong, and I'm happy they did. Of course, some stuff kept on going, which I didn't care about because at that point. I went to a very wise man, uh, shout out to you, you know who you are, um, he talked to me and told me that it was not gonna help, uh, it wasn't gonna help me if I, um, if I killed myself, it would only make everybody more sad, and he actually explained to me how it would work, what would actually happen if it happened, so that man saved probably my life, and big shout out to you man, you are, were all, you are awesome, and yeah. Back to what I said before, uh, internet bullying. Don't do it, you make other people depressed and on, and in some ways you just make yourself look like a prick. And if you're, tr if you're trying to make a YouTube channel, like I am for example, and you try to sound cool that way, to like see, oh he commented that, oh that's awesome and shit like that, that's only gonna make you look worse, believe me. Like, if I acted like an asshole towards everybody on purpose in this game, if I talk shit to my subscribers, I would probably not have these two buddies here to play with. 
these two nice guys who have done nothing wrong in the world, they're just having fun playing a game. I'm just saying, people shouldn't be acting like some people do. I think I made my point. So, what do I think about internet bullying? I think it's a waste of time, and I think people do it are just too scared to look into the real world. They are scared to see. They 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 are scared to see themselves. How like in in the way that everything else looks. Hello. Internet bullies are just people who are afraid of life outside their computers, and that may be insulting to some people, but I don't care. I'm. I I never bullied anybody. I don't talk shit to anybody. I don't do that because it doesn't feel right. Why am I covering this subject suddenly? Yeah, because I felt like it. I think. Oh shit! Mine. What kind of ammo does it take? I need to find out right now. Well, back to what I said before. <coughs> People just need to get along more. I feel like people are always either either people. How can I say it? People act like, for example, um, okay, we can take it as a, okay, okay. I have an idea. Okay, racism, for example. A lot of people just do racism because they were brought up to be like it. You know, some parents act weird around, like, colored people. Yeah, that sounded really wrong, but I don't, in my, okay, in my opinion, I'm not racist. Because I don't hate, I don't hate a person for him being another color than me. I hate him f because he probably did some fucking stupid thing, but who cares. I just don't see the reason to do something, for example, being mad at a, at a colored person or being mad at another gamer because he does good in a thing. For example, PewDiePie. People hate PewDiePie. Why do people hate him? Pretty obvious, because he did. He do, he's doing great on YouTube. It's so obvious that people hate him just because of that. And no, d don't. Don't make it sound like I'm full of shit because I'm fuck. Let's be honest here. I'm telling the fucking truth. People only hate on PewDiePie because he either people think he's not funny, but if you don't think he's funny, then don't comment it. Don't comment shit then. That that that's not helping. A lot of people just comment like, "Oh, you're such a faggot." Uh, how does that that help him find out to make his content better so you like it? The comment section is for helping, nothing else. But hey, I'm just a minor YouTuber, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just saying my opinion, because I feel like there's no reason to hate on, Pew on PewDiePie, on other people. There's no reason for hating each other if they, don't, if they haven't done anything towards you that actually feels wrong. It would be the same like you saw a person do one thing and you never met him. He suddenly does something like, let's say he jumps and you goes over and yells in his face and tells him he's a fucking faggot. Has nothing to do with anything. It, that's just what you do because you for some reason felt like it. That's not helping him finding out like what can he do to make his jumps better. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about my fucking ass right now. Fucking idiot. Uh, for hell better. No, but I'm just saying, there's no reason to hate on other people. We should all just be friends. Yo, um, Tommy, look what I found. Hmm. He's 
not here, I think. Well, <clears throat> back to what I said before. Um, just don't hate. There's no reason. That's the whole point of my giant speech. Hmm. But yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. I don't really know why I just came into a bunch of subjects about like hate on the internet, racism, and I, th I think I covered every fucking kind of hate <laughs> and bullying <laughs> in the world. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why I felt like saying it, talking about it. I just. I don't fucking know. It's just that people suddenly commenting shit on on my YouTube channel. It it's not working. I I'm not annoyed. I'm not anything. I don't care. People can call me whatever they feel like. They can call me gay. They can call me a faggot. I don't care. I don't really see the point in calling me a faggot anyway and stuff like that. The whole point of this conversation was that I wanted people to see that. Calling people names, calling them a faggot, calling them a f idiot, calling them gay. First things first, gay is not an insult, by the way. Um, second, there's no, you aren't really pro productive that way. If I call one of my friends a gay ass faggot for driving the way he does, he won't understand. What can I do better then? I could tell him like, hey, can you drive a bit slower? You're driving pretty fast. If we get stopped by cops, you'll probably lose your license. And he's like, oh, okay. See, that's productive. If you were in a PewDiePie video, suddenly tell him like, um, hey PewDiePie, uh, can you do this, this, this instead? Because your the other thing you do is really annoying. Then he probably would understand if he saw it. But because people hated on him so much, like, because people actually hate on him so much, he doesn't even check the comments, I think. Or he probably does actually, because I think I have seen him respond to... I've seen him co like answer to comments before, but it's just that people should really just be more, product be more productive around like comments instead of being criti cri criticizing. Critical, productive comments are good, in my opinion. They help. If a guy told me like, hey, I would recommend you do this, this, this instead, instead of just calling me my videos fucking ridiculous and shit. Uh, First things first, that's not helping calling them shit because, let's be honest, uh, I haven't seen you made in making anything better because the guys that actually commented shit on my videos and checked their channels, their channels were shit. All they had was a bunch of let's play videos where they first things first, they lacked like shit and they for some reason thought that, um, let's just say a lot of the things they said didn't make any sense. So yeah, like, for example, people who aren't doing anything better shouldn't like talk shit to my about my videos I don't see the reason for that if a guy asked me for advice I would probably say I have no clue I'm just doing this and yeah it, it's just like that believe me I do one thing and that's just making the videos like I'm doing right now I make a video and then I post it after I just edited it a bit so it looked nicer you know and I don't really do anything else but that. I'm very serious. I don't do much. I don't edit much in videos because I like the raw content. I like I like the journey, you know. I want people to see the journey that I go through to actually play the game. For example, when I'm just walking around doing nothing because I have nothing to do right now because in some ways we I, I in my opinion when I get to this point I get pretty bored and everything but fuck that I'm just gonna keep on talking while we loot a bit more in these buildings. And I just don't see the reason to hate on people that have like done nothing at all wrong. And people can maybe suddenly sell, tell me like, yeah, but like PewDiePie does this, and then I'm like, that's then don't watch him. That's the same to like haters that hate my vi the, the haters that hated my videos. What I told them is I didn't care, and they could stop watching my videos at any time. 
I never told them to watch my videos. I never forced them in front of my screen to watch my videos. I never do. I, I would never do that. First things first. That would be really weird and disturbing. But you guys can see what I mean, right? That it doesn't make any. Hello. That it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, sure, man. I'm gonna finish up the main chapter. Yeah, I'm gonna end up leaving too soon too because I got stuff to do. I'm gonna give this guy a gift. I hope he took. Oh, he didn't. Okay, fair enough. Oh, he doesn't have a can opener. Fair enough. I fair enough. I eat it then. Fuck that. Okay. What? Where was I? Oh yeah, right. Hate on the internet. It's a thing, never gonna end, let's be honest. It's like, it's a bit like racism. racism. It will never really go away. Go away. Like, go away. There we go. But I believe in someday that fucking humanity will someday grow up and actually fuck realize, holy shit, we've been fucking idiots the whole time. I'm, I think I'm gonna dedicate this video to hate and hate speech and bullying and everything like that. But okay, I have an advice for all you kids. If you ever get annoyed, bullied, irritated by anybody at school, tell the teachers. That's the big, big thing to do. Don't hit back, don't push back, just walk over to a teacher, tell them really calm, I'm getting bullied, can you please help me here ma'am? Ma'am, for example, Mrs. Jenkins, let's call her that. Mrs. Jenkins, can you please help me? I'm getting bullied by these, these kids. I would like them to stop. I have told them to stop. They just won't listen. She'll probably say, okay, I'll come with you to talk with them. She'll talk with them if they don't stop. You go back to Mrs. Jenkins and say, they just beat me up or they just bullied me again. Then she'll take matters into hand. That's what a bunch of students don't understand to start off with. That teachers don't just suddenly like give out a giant punishment for nothing. Like, oh. You guys shouldn't have done that. Whoosh! <laughs> Hits them in the face. No, that's not how it works. She's gonna talk with them again, but this time she's gonna probably contact their parents saying, My... Okay, the, this this kid is getting annoyed by your kid. Um, we would like to talk about that. The kid will then learn a lesson that it's important that you don't get busted in it first things first, or that you beat them up hard enough so they won't tell anybody. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> no, you don't do that. <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. What I'm saying is, it's, it's, just don't bully, it's so much easier. Have fun, make friends, show the world that we can live in a peaceful place without even thinking about hating each other. For example, I have, okay, I'll be honest with you, I actually have a friend from um, another country. He is another color than me. I don't hate him, I don't dislike him, or anything like that. He's a really good friend of mine, as good a friend of, as anybody else I have. And he never, he, he's never done anything wrong, but when I went to school with him, a lot of people hated him, because he was colored. And I never really understood why that, like, why that went out like that, and I don't know, and I still know, guys, I'm babbling about a bunch of stuff that doesn't make any sense together. Don't, don't, just, just... Don't ask questions, just go with it. I just don't see racism as a thing anymore. We just need to pull uh, the fucking stuff out of our, uh, like the fucking stuff out of our ass and stop talking shit to each other. There's no reason. There's no reason to talk shit about it. Uh, talk shit and being racist. There are no reasons. And I know you guys know it as well. The only reason that a fun that some young people actually bully is to look cool. Well, you don't look cool bullying. You look like an idiot. And you're only gonna get in trouble. And I know I can keep on talking all day about like racism and how it's wrong. And how bullying is wrong. But let's be honest. 
the, a lot of YouTubers already covered all this, and I'm just probably do, t telling you guys the same thing. I'm just saying, there are no reasons for half of the bullying that exists. I got bullied for no reason. Uh, like, I got bullied about my name a lot, and I take pride in my name. My real name, not Jamji, of course, that's not my name. I'm not called Jack Logan in real life, or Jack the Ripper. My real name is a, a connection of two names, Lars and Michael. That's my first name, Lars Michael. A lot of people thought it was funny to make fun of me. Later on, that became a strength to me that somebody actually gave me a nickname that I actually didn't like, but that they used because they respected me with that name. So, bullying is weird. They for some reason think that insulting you is only gonna make you look weak, but that's where you have to be strong and just ignore it. And if they suddenly push you and begin to like want to hurt you, if he hits you first, if he begins hitting you like violently, of course I would recommend you run away or anything like that, like uh, do anything to like not confront him. Because are you anything? If you are, are you any better if you hit him back? Of course not. That's how it works. So, yeah, I think I've covered everything about bullying and cyberbullying and anything I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna open my chocolate bar now and eat a piece. I feel like I deserved it. Good chocolate, this. That's a really weird, like, smell to it, though. I don't know, but it tastes really good, but like, when I have it in my mouth... Hmm. Ah, it's good. Okay. So what now? Good question. I'm probably gonna end the video soon. I'd say that was all for me for now. But I he really hope you guys understood what I said. About cyberbullying being wrong about bullying in general being wrong and especially don't don't be racist there's no reason to it because racism doesn't exist we are all one race we are the human race hello there's water in the barrel if you need some but see for example I don't see okay I, I'm Okay, I'm. Don't, I don't see color. I really don't. I know that's weird to some people. Oh hey. Hello. I'm gonna finish off the base. Cool. Yeah, but I just don't see. I just can't see the reason for being racist. I really don't. There's another bell. I'm just going to finish off the bell. But see, even though that kid is young and he probably don't understand me that well because I'm um, first things first. first. For the first things first, I'm f I'm pro I'm Danish. I I know my English is really is pretty good in compared to other people. I've actually been told my English is very good compared to other people, so I'm really proud of that. But he under but a lot of a lot of, this kid, for example, look at him. He's having fun playing the game. There's no reason to being hateful towards him when he plays a fun game, for example. Let's take that as the example of bullying. I don't see the reason to suddenly call him an idiot or anything like that. He's a good guy. He's playing and having fun. I know you, some of you guys are probably thinking like, What the fuck are you talking about, DMT? Stop talking about shit that doesn't matter. To me it matters, because I see so many schools nowadays that where young people are getting bullied because other guys think it's cool to do. And I'm trying to give a bit of a message here. I know I'm fucking using my powers here of uh, YouTube. 
it's important to me, okay, that other people understand that that it's wrong. It's just plain and simply wrong. Some people will probably think that I'm talking out of my ass again. You're probably damn right I am. But I feel like it's necessary. To, it's a necessity to actually for actually some people to actually realize. Some people need to realize that. Oh shit! Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Russian. Uh, I don't care about Russian stuff. That's not racist. That's just plain simply. I don't know what the fuck it said. guys understand the message at, and that you guys actually will see my message and actually give it further to other young people so they will understand that it's important not to do any sorts of bullying towards any people and I know there are a lot of people out there that aren't doing that kind of stuff I know and a lot of young people aren't bullying and that's good I'm just saying to people that are that it's there's no use. Yeah. I really talked out of my ass this episode. Holy shit. I was full of shit. <coughs> well, everybody, that was all for me for now. Uh, Jamchi signing off. Hope you understood the message and uh, that the people that you guys know who you were or are, uh, your cyberbullying assholes, I hope you fucking get a, a good pun, like a good, uh, good, good. A good laugh out of your like little incident you did on my YouTube channel. I, I hope you liked it. A lot of your stuff was considered spam, so it didn't even show up. So I hope you guys had fun doing it, uh, wasting your time and everything. And you guys, if you see them, co their comments in the other videos, can you please dislike them, or co like report them from spam or anything like that? It's just that they're it, fucking ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. I don't like people fucking with my shit. I'm actually pretty happy about what I make on YouTube. So they don't know shit, okay? They don't know what they're talking about. They're talking out of their ass. I'm gonna leave it here for now. Everybody, like and subscribe for more. And have a nice day.